Alec Wynn, Managing Broker with Sky Commercial. Welcome on the business brief. Thank you, Ryan. Good to have you, Alec. Alec, word on the street is that many employers are pushing out further their plans for employees returning to the office. The pandemic and the new age of remote work continue to drive speculation about the future of commercial and office use. How do you see 2022 taking shape for Metro Denver? Well, I see it taking shape in a couple forms, Ryan. And I, and I think about a mixture of strategies that companies will deploy as they bring their employees back to work. You know, some companies will have a permanent flexible work schedule, allowing their employees to work two or three days a week from home. And others are gonna be a little more stringent. They're gonna to try to really push people back into the workplace. And I think the net result is gonna be some flexibility in some form in a typical work week, which is a little bit different than the pre-pandemic levels. And that trend was actually starting to happen before the pandemic hit. So the pandemic just accelerated this trend that was already in place. And I think if you want to be a player in this war on talent, you're going to have to offer some flexibility because workers are going to demand that now. And I think the pandemic just helped folks realize the importance of work-life balance. And, uh, and these employees are saying, I want to have a little more time for me and my family. So I want to be flexible. You know, it's slower, it's certainly been slower to come back, but I do think you're right that, you know, it's, 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 those employers who are understanding the, the age we live in and what workers and employees are looking for uh, and being able to be flexible are going to be the ones who I think are able to attract those talents. And even uh, Google recently, I read a report an article over the weekend that talked about a pretty large office space, a building that they purchased in London, uh, not Denver, but London, which I think is another indicator that they see the market coming back, even though you're going to have to be more flexible. Okay, you recently released your Denver office market report where you note the Denver metro area is in a period of what you call a heightened volatility, but there are reasons to be optimistic about the long-term health, that the Denver area is enjoying some big wins over the last year with relocation and expansion of companies. Can you expand on that and what it means in your view? Sure, uh, the heightened volatility piece, I'll speak to that first. What concerns me about the market today, Ryan, is that there is a lot of vacancy, direct vacancy, meaning the amount of space that people can lease, that number is about 18%. Now, depending on what resource, it fluctuates between 16 to 18%. That is significantly higher than the, than the 2008, 2009 levels, which was around 14, 15%. But here is the underlying current that's even underneath that. There's about 4 million square feet of sublease space in addition to that 18% uh, to that, 18 that I mentioned. So we're really talking about 21 to 22% of vacancy. And sublease, sublease space, Ryan, is space that a company already has leasehold interest in and they don't need it any longer. So they try to find another company to lease that space back from them. So if you look at in a healthy market, you know how much do we, uh, consume of space, that is typically about one to one and a half percent. So that 4 million square feet represents about 4% of the market. So in other words, we have about a two-year supply of sublease space, just sublease space on the market. And so that's those two things combined is what, is what concerns me right now for the next 18 months. And then I think you'll start to see the recovery, you know, take root, vacancy go down, and things start to normalize. But the, 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 five, the five to seven year plan or, or forward thinking uh, look for Colorado is, is gonna be good. I mean, we have a, a very diversified economy. We have no problem attracting talent. And so I think that long-term will be fine. It's just, you're just gonna have to be a little patient as we recover through uh, this pandemic. You also mentioned in your report, I like that the commercial office space continues to be tenant favorable meaning those who are leasing or renting space are getting good deals, more concessions, better tenant improvements in order to attract and retain them. Where in the Metro Denver area do you expect to see the best commercial and office rent lease deals over the next year? Yeah, I think, uh, good question, by the way, Ryan. I haven't been asked that question this year or, or even last year. I will tell you, the two, there are two markets that come to mind in Metro Denver. The first is Aurora, 
just historically, it's always been challenged with, with vacancy, with lease rate improvements. And I just think that that market will continue to struggle a little bit against some of the other markets that have either better access to 25 or amenities. And then the second sub-market that I think is gonna have a lot of concessions is the downtown market. Since the pandemic, there's been, there have been a lot of companies, in fact, that have moved from downtown to the suburbs, to the tech center and Greenwood Village. And so I think downtown has a ways to go before uh, the numbers look strong again. So I think I would say, if you're a tenant, I would look at Aurora or downtown. And um, yeah, I think you'll, and the, and the concessions will take the form of free rent, moving allowances, uh, lower lease rates, of course. Uh, and so those are the those are the three buckets I would say you'd see some concessions in today's market. All right, Alec. Bottom line outlook for 2022. You think it'll be a great year, an okay year, a not so good year for commercial and office? What's your bottom line take on what the next year should look like? Well, I think it's going to be an okay year. I think I think the bottom the, the market still needs to bottom out a little bit. Uh, so we're we're gonna. You know, I would say you're going to have to roll up your sleeves and, and, and hunker down a little bit. I think we're going to be, I'd say, about 18 months uh, before we start to see uh, some normalization set in. Alec Wynn with Sky Commercial. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ryan. Pleasure.